roving and we want about maybe eight inches or so of a thinner strip. You may need more or less depending on how thick your wool is, but we need a piece about this size. We'll also need a little bit of orange and yellow and those will be our other colors on there. It's really simple, three different colors. We'll also need a foam block and two 36 gauge felting needles. You might also want a safety pin for later when we can go ahead and pin that on. So starting off, we're going to be taking our white wool and we wanna make a shape kind of like the, uh, the action of folding a flag. So if you've ever done that before or watch a YouTube video on it, you'll get an idea of how we're gonna roll this. So starting out, we wanna take and kind of form a little wad, a little, a little bit of wool in our hand, and then we're going to take and fold it over so we have almost a triangle shape. Then we're gonna take and fold it again so we have another triangle. Then we're gonna fold it over again and we're gonna keep going each side till we have a nice triangle shape. And when you come to the end of folding that, just go ahead and you know wrap those fibers around. So we should have a little triangle shape. That is one way to do it, but you can also just take and form it into a triangle shape on your foam block and that would work just fine as well. So we want it a little taller on the top and a little wider on the bottom. We're gonna then take and put that onto your foam block and put one needle into the center. As always, that helper needle is gonna hold that in place so that we can take and poke. As we start poking, we're going to poke around the edges first. Always do the perimeter when you're trying to get a shape. That way it will form a nice hard edge that you can work up to. So we're gonna do one side, down the other, and finally across the bottom. Once we've gotten that poked and anchored in there, then we're gonna go ahead and poke the rest of it. And we're just gonna poke that till everything is nice and flat. So if you've had a hard week or just a little stress, this might be the place where you can take out some of your aggression. It's kind of a fun stress reliever, just poke away. And after a few minutes, you're gonna see that it is actually started um, to bind together and those fibers are now actually catching on one another to form a denser fabric. All right, let's see how we're looking. There we are. So that's after a few minutes worth of poking and you can see if you brush your fingers over the surface, those fibers are smooth and flat, not a lot of fuzzy sticking out. So we're gonna take out that helper needle. Remember to always put them on the side of your foam so you don't lose them. We're gonna peel that off. It might have stuck into your foam a little bit, especially if you were a little aggressive poking. So we're gonna take and flip that over to the other side, anchor it again with that needle, and then go ahead and start poking. On this side, however, do not go as deep. Just do little shallow pokes because then you won't be pushing as much of the fiber through to the other side. So again, we're just gonna start around the outside edge and continue felting until the whole thing is nice and flat. And you can continue doing this over and over again until it's as flat and smooth as you'd like it to be. All right, so we're gonna flip this back over. Now I'd be curious to see who all likes candy corn and who doesn't, so leave a comment in the feed. We'll, uh, I'll be interested to hear if you're a candy corn lover or a candy corn hater. Either way, you can enjoy it with this fun fiber craft, but I would personally like candy corn better in fiber form than to eat it necessarily. But yeah, let me know what your preference is. All right, so back and forth I've been a couple of times to get a nice little canvas that we can take and wrap our colors around. So we'll take and go ahead and start with the, um, let's see, what color is it? Orange or yellow? We're gonna start with the yellow. Now this is something I had to look up. I think candy corn looks great either way, but actually the candy corn that you buy starts with yellow and then goes to orange and then to white. So if you wanna be authentic, we're gonna start out with that yellow. All right, so we're gonna pin that into the middle 
and then we're gonna anchor it down just to give it a few pokes so that it will anchor onto your white base. Once you've done that, you can pick it up off the foam, you can give it a little tug and it's going to stay put. Then we'll take and wrap that nice and tight all around the base. So there's our yellow wrapped around, wrapped around the bottom, and we're just gonna poke that in. Now on this, make sure that you don't go too deep because you will push those fibers through to the other side if you do go too deep. So just a little bit, you know, just little pokes on the surface. Flip it over, poke it on the other side. We're just trying to anchor it all in. You wanna look and see on the bottom if you have any white showing. If so, kind of pull some of those fibers and tuck them in. All right, so there's our yellow. It's time for the orange. Same, same process exactly. Pin it in anchor it, and then go ahead and wrap. We're gonna take and wrap that nice and tight as well. And if you have extra, you can always just pull that off. Use it for another project. All right, we are almost complete here. So here you have it, our candy corn. The best way to put this on is to just take a normal safety pin, put your candy corn on, and then go ahead and pin it from the back of your shirt. That way you won't see the pin. And ta-da, you have a felted candy corn. Such an easy project and a really fun one at that. So again, this is Natasha Lara Lewis with Esther's Place. Thanks for joining me and definitely check out all of the rest of our felting videos. Hopefully they will inspire your crafting.